343 just revealed that they have more modes coming in for Halo Infinite and their plan moving forward with events. And what can we expect from 343? Well, if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going Halo fans? Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. And we're finally getting some playlists for Halo Infinite guys and this is all just kind of like standard stuff. It's going to make me kind of wonder what's going to happen with the future events, especially for Tenray, but we got some announcements from Unishek and some other members of 343 and what's coming in before the end of the year and a little bit afterwards as well. So if you guys like these news and informational videos and want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button as it really does help out the video and channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we wrap up to the full release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe so let's get right into the content here so here's the big news coming before the end of the year guys we're having three major playlists come back into halo infinite community manager unichek goes on the twitter saying let's talk about halo infinite playlist we've been reading your feedback and we're working on plans to add fiesta tactical slayer which is aka swat and free for all playlists as we speak they won't land by december 8 but the team is pushing to get them in before the end of the year which i'm like Thank God we're finally getting some of this. Hey, I made like a 20 minute video criticizing like the playlists in Halo Infinite. Well, it looks like I have to go back and edit that one up a little bit because at least we're getting some stuff that we're kind of expecting because I think a free for all playlist that we've always had in Halo is kind of odd to not be there. I don't know why we wouldn't have it at launch. I just like some of these modes, I'm like, why are they not there at launch? It just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, also getting Tactical Slayer aka SWAT coming back, which is super important. I mean, they have a grassroots team called SWAT Nation that definitely doesn't even have a playlist in the game. Like that doesn't mean like what? And then Fiesta, which is like the most popular game mode from Halo 5, which I expect Fiesta to be super popular as well. Once we get these weapon variants that are gonna be in the game involved with Fiesta, maybe we have like a super Fiesta kind of like we had in Halo 5, that will be a very popular playlist. I guarantee you that. But of course, some of this does kind of play into some of the events that are coming up as well. And Unishek talks about this on Twitter saying our goal for events is to try new modes prior to adding to playlist we'll monitor the health after the three editions above and adjust our offering if needed but we're excited to make these updates before the holidays this is just the start of the conversation because if some of you guys saw my previous video showcasing some of the leaked battle pass content and some of the leaked challenges that we've had for some of the events that have been coming around that some of these challenges and game modes are tied to the events like fiestas especially for tenry which we experienced uh, there's going to be like an oddball fiesta maybe that's a specific version of fiesta that we'll have for tenry when it comes around again uh, no word on what uh, the special event is going to be for the Cyber Showdown uh, playlist, but most likely that will be Attrition, which we covered previously on the channel. And I thought that the free for all mode was going to be part of Tactical Ops coming in February because Tactical Ops has like an emblem that's tied to it that's called like Lone Wolf or whatever, which would be totally free for all in Halo, which is which is like the legacy name for free for all in the Halo franchise. So it'd be kind of interesting to see how they mix it up a little bit. I think this puts more effort on 343 to make some more interesting, unique modes to make these events really do stand out and feel special compared to what we've had previously. I think locking just like standardized modes like free for all and like Fiesta and like SWAT, like potentially behind events, I just don't feel like that's the right move but what about the most popular mode in halo of all time just slayer are we gonna get like a slayer specific playlist it looks like we just might but it's gonna take some time and this is what unishek said as well a social slayer playlist with multiple variations is also in the works we see this request the most but we won't be able to get that one ready until after the holidays which would be in january we hope you can understand and enjoy the ones that make it in before the team takes a well-deserved break so quite happy that there's gonna be a dedicated slayer playlist because there's a lot of people out there that just want to play slayer and don't want to play anything else i understand like mixing in all the other objective modes like in one singular play is like an objective playlist I could totally see that happening, though generally from my experience from Halo that those players don't really get that much population. And a lot of times it's like full parties of sweats just like dripping on you because you're just trying to play casual like unranked team objective modes and it's just like ridiculously hard. Though a dedicated Slayer player is really needed for Halo. I mean, every shooter out there that's like an arena style kind of shooter like Call of Duty and Halo for the most part, they all have like a 
deathmatch mode. Like, you need that. I'm glad to see that it's coming, but it looks like it's be happening most likely in January, as I'm sure that with the multiple variations, that they need to test out the balancing of weapon placements and also just more time with making sure that like what they're putting in that playlist is actually going to be fun. And some hope at the end of the tunnel is given by community director Sketch, and he says this as well. Matchmaking playlists will continue to grow and evolve over time, and the first update is targeted for later this month, like we talked about earlier. Just the first step. But please remember, as a service, there will be plenty more to come. 343 has built Halo Infinite specifically for this kind of situation to happen. It just seems like it's so odd that we have to like get to this point when like we all knew that we would. This is what we would want to have happen. I think this is a step in the right direction. Ultimately, I would love to see a match composer for MCC come into Halo Infinite. I think that would be quite fantastic. And I talk about that in a video coming up this weekend, talking about my critiques with the Halo Infinite multiplayer experience. Because the match composer would certainly help out a lot when it comes to completing specific challenges that take way longer than they really should. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to check out this link right here to all the videos I've been uploading daily about. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.